How to treat your staff. So, really, what we're talking about most of the time is simply a case of common sense. There's nothing revolutionary or even new here. The trouble is that most managers tend to forget about developing their own managerial skills as soon as they become a manager. There is a certain sense of irony in this, don't you think? Well, let's move on and talk about a few more of these issues. One thing that I've come across again and again is the situation in which managers pretend that change is not happening, but when change is happening, this is the worst thing they can do. It's like burying one's head in the sand. Your staff will know that something is up and wonder why you're being secretive, or worse, dishonest. So, communicate. Tell your staff exactly what is happening, and give them opportunities to ask questions. Everybody will come out winning, because honesty is always the best policy. Sharing information is a golden rule of management. Sometimes there's a tendency to keep things to oneself, but this isn't usually the best. Imagine a situation where you're thinking about approaching. A new client, for example. If we only communicate this information to our immediate management team, then we might well be neglecting to tell somebody who is potentially the ideal person to come up with an idea to make contact with this new client for whatever reason. There are other scenarios too. Work can get duplicated, and even worse, people can get offended. We don't want to get anybody's back up. Staff need to feel that they are trusted to work independently and manage their own workloads. It's a proven fact that workers in this environment are happier and are more productive. As managers, we should learn to micromanage to make sure that staff know exactly what they're supposed to be doing, and then just let them get on with it. We should never breathe down their necks. That isn't going to help anybody. Another very important thing to remember is that your employees may not understand your jargon.